Let's catch him up. Woo! With catch him up fishing with Zach Ketchum. Look at this fish. Catch him up. Yeah, Timmy's back here. Yeah! Guys, we're out here. It is crazy. It's a crazy day out here. I just found the best iguana spot I think I've ever seen. You know, I was out here with Blue Gabe teaching these gators. You're good, bro. Boy, you're looking crispy, boy. <laughs> All right, guys. So. What we're gonna do is, as you can see, the spot that I found today, Gabe and Farley and all of my friends, zoom in over there, Timmy. Look at that. Zoom in to that. It's Iguanatopia. <laughs> Every iguana in the world is right there. So we're just gonna sneak around this fence and teach these iguanas a lesson on this public property behind me. Here, baby, guard the fort. Now, guys, what we gotta do, I have cleats on, because these guys get pretty fast sometimes. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually just gonna walk around here. Be careful, Timmy. Be careful. We don't know want another broken arm and you out for six months, okay? That's nice and smooth. Take your time. Take your time. You got this. You got this in soft ground, buddy. This is a new adventure for us, guys. We've never been to this spot before. It's really windy today and it's late in the afternoon. So all the iguanas are out. Look, there's one right there actually. Way over there. You see right? You see that one? Right on the edge, they camouflage yeah. really well. Oh, he's just starting to move. He started looking at me. They might be a little bit spooky out here, guys. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna try to sneak up on them, just take our time, and oh my god, and try to get as many of these iguanas, as many of these invasive pests out of the way as we can. They're really far away, guys. I could hit them with a normal bow, but this is a bow fishing bow. I don't like wasting meat, I don't like wasting skin, so I found a couple people that will eat this, guys, including my friend Blue Gabe. <laughs> Let's go get them. Zoom into those, Timmy. Zoom into those guys. You see them? Yes. Oh my god. There are so many. So, they're actually running away from us. Every time we get closer, they're running. So, I could actually run full speed and I have the cleats on, but honestly, you guys will not be able to keep up if I run to full speed. So, I think the best thing to do, and I also have to shoot them with a the bow, which I need to get pretty close. So, I think what the best thing to do is going to be to sneak up behind this hill and like creep up down on top of them. So let's let's just try to do that. Can you see that? Keep going. Oh no, he ran. Dang it. Oh, they're so spooky out here, guys. It's really hard to sneak up on them. We just saw like a hundred of them. You guys can see why they're invasive. They're really hard to sneak up on. Iguana evidence, guys. There's one right here. That's how you do it, man. That's how you do it. See where I hit him? That's just nerves, guys. Just nerves. Take your knife, just to be just to be safe, and just make sure you cut off the back of his neck, let him bleed out, do his thing. Then you'll be able to eat him, and you don't have to worry about it. So as you guys can see, that's nothing but nerves. This thing is taken out. Let's go bring him up. That's your iguana, ladies and gentlemen. All done, taken care of. Now put this guy in our trash bag. You gotta make sure you take care of every single body. And if you're gonna eat it, eat it. If you're not going to, you gotta take it in the trash bag and throw it away if it's on your property. It's an invasive creature. You're allowed to kill as many as you like. FWC actually encourages you and tells us to kill as many as we can because we're digging holes, ruining the pavement, ruining the sides, ruining the canals that we build out here in South Florida. But um, what we're gonna do with this one is we're gonna take this guy, we're gonna fillet it, and we're actually gonna eat it. <laughs> this is a giant one right there. See him? Look, 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 he's waiting for me to move. Oh! Skipped oh. on him! Skipped on the ground! Ah! The bunch of them the head though. I don't want to spook the rest of them. As you can see, they're starting to get spooked. That was a giant though. Let's go get our arrow. Oh, he was right there. Dang. So what these iguanas do, it looks like they like go from one side to the other. If they're not burrowing in a hole because they have all these caves, and that's what makes them so dangerous, guys. Check this out. You see all this? These are like iguana caves. They make these holes and then the grass grows over them and you'll never be able to know that they're there. And they become pitfalls and you fall in and you break your back. The trucks fall into the lake. Stuff like that happens all the time and the road collapses, guys, down here in South Florida. Are you recording? Yeah. That's it, baby. He's not going anywhere. Done. You guys saw, he just ran over there. It's a kill shot, doesn't take very long. We're gonna get, find this iguana dead on the line. Oh! <laughs> just ran, guys. 
Water's going through the water over here. Check it out. Check it out. Hey boy. But that's why it's so effective to do this like bow fish, you guys. Mm -hmm. If you use a regular bow for this, you might hit the iguana, the iguana can run off, and honestly, they heal amazingly fast. All amphibians, reptiles, things of the sort, they heal like so quickly. So, I'm just gonna grab this guy, and he's just about done. As you can see, guys, he's just about done. So, let's, let's take him out. Oh, it's a big one. Oh, that's a big one. Oh my God, yeah, just about done big boy even when they're dead you got to be careful of that tail guys that's a big one right there guys that is a big one right there you always want to be careful they do have reactions and they don't die very easily guys so when you're handling these animals guys make sure you take them out and make sure you, you probably wear gloves if you're new to this and you, that you know where the animal is facing their head is at and their tail is at because honestly when they're alive they can whip you so hard and knock your glasses off guys there is a giant. Check out the dark head. See this thing? It's a long shot. It's a really long shot. You see that thing? Go to the left just a little bit. You see him? Right there. Yeah, yeah. You see him? All right, I'm going to take the shot really quick. If we get this guy, it's going to be the last shot of the day because we have to go and that's plenty of food. So, see if we, see if we can make it. Got him. Got him, guys. Wow. Perfect. Oh, he's so big. He's so big. He's doing all sorts of stuff. Guys, this thing is so big, it just took that huge arrow. This is a gator-sized arrow, guys. Come on. Let's take him down. Come on, come on, come on. Let's take him down. Let's take him down. Look at this guy. So, the law states, whatever you do out here, it has to be humane, which means you have to take him out immediately, guys. So, what I'm going to do now, since this guy did not die immediately, Oh my gosh, big. That's why you have to use these special arrows, guys. You can't just use any arrows. You have to use, oh my god, so strong. Oh. You have to use the blood arrows that can catch alligators. Oh. Look at the size of this thing. Oh my gosh. Oh. That is a giant. Oh, that is a giant. So guys, these are invasive. Just giant creatures. So, as you can tell, he's already starting to slow down. Guys, you have to use these giant blood, blood arrows. Otherwise, it is not humane. It takes them out almost immediately. And once you do hit them, you do hit them in a spot that might not take them out just, just as quick as this does, then what you're gonna have to do is just take a nice little knife. Could be any size knife, could just be like a pocket knife. I recommend getting one that's at least three inches, but if you have a small one like this, it works fine too. Knife just like this, bomb. Get them right behind the neck. Just takes out all the nervous system, guys. Immediately kills them and bleeds them out. Be responsible. Be responsible. Keeping all your iguanas. Put them inside the cooler after you. Kill them all. Probably do five. Yo, Zach, Zach. What? There is a monster right over there. Is that? A, Do you see that thing? Is that an iguana? Bro, that's an alligator. Dude, let's 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 go see what it looks like. Dude, that's an iguana. It looks like a log, so we have three already. That is an absolute giant. If we can get the biggest ones out of the population, those are the big breeders, guys, and we're doing the best for South Florida by getting the biggest ones we possibly can. The big males breed with like hundreds of females, guys. Same thing with alligators. Oh my God, there's two giants. There's two giants. Come on, come on. Oh my God. Are they lined up? Oh my god, don't move, don't move. I might be able to get two for one. Let me try to sneak up on it. Stay right there, Timmy. Oh, I missed him. I missed him. You shot in between them. I shot right between them. He's on top of my line. Look at this thing. Oh my god. Look at, oh, giant just ran in. Look at the other one. Other one's right here. Oh my gosh. That is the ultimate giant. Stay right there, buddy. Stay right there. Oh my goodness gracious. Come on. We have one more chance of this thing. We have one more chance of this thing, I think. He's right here. He's literally begging for us to take him out. 
This is a mega. If I get this guy, I'm taking out hundreds of. Whoa! Oh, no. Oh, <laughs> no. We're gonna come back for him, guys. We, what you gotta do now is be responsible. Pick up all the iguanas, put them in the trash bag. Either take them home and take them out, or put them in the cooler and do what you gotta do if you're gonna eat them up, guys. I hope you enjoy this adventure. We're gonna eat the rest of these iguanas, guys. Stay tuned. Blue Gabe's gonna cook them up. Polly's gonna cook them up. We're all gonna have some iguana dinner, guys. Iguana man, Mike. Give us a little extra taste too. And it's nice to have Timmy back. Give yourself a little cuteness, Timmy. Let's see yeah. what you look like. Yeah, Timmy. Stay tuned for the next episode and catch them all. Catch them all. Woo!